Hello friends, welcome to King in Kitchen. Today I will show you how to make idli and sambar using a single piece of cookware which helps you to save time, fuel and energy. I will be making millet idli and vegetable loaded sambar. I am using proso millet. You can use any other millet that you have. I am using a special stainless steel wok for stack cooking. First, I will cook the dal. Simultaneously, I will cook the vegetables in the wok. I will place a rack on top of the dal and cook the veggies in small bowls. There is still space to steam the idlis. So I will place 3 more bowls greased with oil and filled with millet idli batter. Now close the lid and let it cook for 15 to 20 minutes. So while the veggies and the idlis are steaming, I will boil some tamarind water with small onions. These are special sambar onions available in South India. But you can use regular onions if you don't have sambar onions. Now let me tell you something about the lid. The lid of the wok has a special feature. It creates a water seal around the edges and releases extra steam, ensuring that the vegetables are not cooked under high pressure. This helps to retain their fiber and essential nutrients. Now the veggies and dals are cooked. Let's take out the bowl. Mash the dal with a wooden muddler and the tomatoes as well. You can leave the tomatoes in large pieces if you prefer so. Now let's add some masala powders. So first we'll add turmeric powder, salt and sambar masala powder. Mix well to avoid any lumps. Add all the vegetables into the dal and stir nicely. We'll cook for another 5 minutes so that the flavors of the veggies infuse into the gravy. Add chopped coriander leaves for garnish. Finally, we will prepare the tadka with mustard seed, red chilli and fresh curry leaves. Enjoy the idli with vegetable loaded sambar and start your day with a high nutrient breakfast. Friends, if you like the recipe and the cooking technique, please like and comment. If you are new to the channel, please press the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new recipes. Thank you.